if you remember correctly, I know you do, but I, as I talk to younger students, you, you may not remember this, but Kerry was the one that first announced Puron, and people look at you like Puron, mm -hmm. as, as we know, 410A today. Right. So, uh, I, you know, I kind of have to give them a little history lesson there. And, and uh, you know, my vision is, this was two or three years ago now, or whenever Kerry announced, I said, I just can't imagine us having us, you know, six different 410As. So my theory is, is you know, when Carrier announces so early out of the gate, more, more than likely people are going to, follow like york is going to follow now york's on board i think trains on board i mean there's there are some places and you know as much about this as i do zach i'm just rambling but there are fine. some places where r32 is going to be a good fit that's what i was um, thinking about yeah yeah because there's already a substantial amount of equipment out there running on r32 so are you thinking that it's going to end up being these two refrigerants because then there's uh there's another one and i can't remember the designation for it uh, maybe it's solstice from Honeywell Solstice N41 yeah, or something. And yeah. there's another one out there, but I don't know if anyone's adopted that as their primary so, refrigerator. So here's the deal. Uh, and this is, hopefully this doesn't, I, I don't, it's not going to give me trouble. I'm going to just word it like this to you. It's been on our sheet for a long time. This, uh, I don't know the name. You said it better than I could have. Um, I, I don't talk about it much because here's why. Um, it's not, we have not, Here's where I don't know enough about it as far as behind closed doors. I don't get involved in that. You know, I only have so many badges that can get me in so many rooms and things like that. So there's a lot of testing that goes in this behind the scenes, as you know, uh, in compressors. And sometimes and they don't publish. Um, sometimes I don't know, you know, all I know is that it hasn't been approved in our compressors yet. I know that if it's the one I'm taught you're talking about, so it, it really looks good on paper and here's why it's an A1. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not mildly flammable. Is that the one you're referring to? That is the one. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's been out there a while, but I was told, uh, hopefully I'm not getting in trouble here, but I was told months ago or a year ago that, Hey, we're really not talking about that one too much because we, you know, we're, we haven't approved it in our compressors yet. Now, what does that mean to you and I? Does that mean it's not doing well in behind closed doors? I don't know. But all I know is it's, you know, um, we're not pushing any refrigerant. Okay, I want to make that very clear. We, we I mean, our, we're just making compressors and it doesn't know what refrigerants it's seeing. You know, we're just, you know, so we, we test everything. Um, and, you know, it doesn't know if it's CO2 or if it's, you know, A2Ls or what it is. Okay, so I'm not here advocating any any refrigerants by no means. But uh, on a personal note from what I've seen is it looks to me like Tomorrow's 454B is is has been and looks like it's going to come out pretty good on this one. Um, that's the way I see it. And and it's you know when it comes down to it, Zach, it's all it's all 30. They're all they're all some mixture of 32, right? right. I mean, you know, 410A was a mixture of 32, right? Half of half of it was R125 as a fire deterrent, but that's what's getting yeah. into trouble now with the GWP, right? Everybody knows that. Yeah. Um, right. 454 is the same way. It's like a third of it's a 32 for the capacity part of it. And then they're watering it down, for lack of better words, with like 123YF and things like that. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. But uh, but 454 looks good. If you want to watch more videos just like this one, click on this playlist. And if you want to see a new video you might not have ever seen before, check out this one right down here. And if you want to find out more about the sponsors that make this show possible, you can click on this box right here. And of course, if you aren't subscribed, please click here to do so.